Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, as you can see, we're going to be going into Act 8, Chapter 2, Quest Number 2. And this is the team that I have gone in with. Um, I think this team is a pretty comprehensive team. Again, you do not see Hercules. I'm not promising that you're not going to see Hercules later, but for now, we left Hercules out. Um, I'm going to show you the path that I think is the easiest path. And that one is the one that starts with Hela. All right. And we'll take a look at the nodes here. And you can see here, six stars get a bonus. Seven stars get a bigger bonus. We got Civil War Zone, Arcane Zeal. That's the one I want. And uh, Mighty Charge. Okay. So Civil War Zone, you can see that they get armor up buffs, okay? They're getting armor up buffs. Just that's all you need to know. Arcane Zeal, every time a Mystic Defender fills a bar of power, they gain a passive fury, all right? Nullifying a buff from the Defender or preventing one from triggering converts all temporary fury into indefinite ones. So basically, you nullify buffs, you're going to get furies, you're going to hit harder. OK, you prevent buffs. Same thing. Divine barrier. You have to watch out for that if you're going to come in here with a mystic champion, because they will become nullify immune for just a little bit, just 10 seconds. OK, and they are immune to all forms of power manipulation. All right. Now, I still don't know how to play Wiccan. OK, but I wanted to try him out. And he is really good against uh, Cosmics. So notice here, I've got Staggers. And every time you see that buff failed, notice that she's getting Incinerates. Nasty. Okay. But again, I'm still learning Wiccan. And I'm also learning this particular path. I run the um, Recoil Masteries. And he is not particularly um friendly to them now i got i ate a nice nasty combo right there um because i wasn't used to it and i think i tried to parry and she was immune that mighty charge um and i just ate it all right but just take a look at this nasty just nasty and because i was preventing it i didn't even have to worry about her um that immortality that she gets at the end Wicked is really good, okay? Um, next up, we've got Gambit. Now, Gambit, pretty easy to fight. This particular path, let me say this, can be done with Black uh, Widow Clairvoyant. She can do the entire path, okay? So if you have Clairvoyant, you're set. But I wanted to show you some other options. Now, take a look at this. With Gallon, you can even use a five-star Gallon, all these armor ups, look at his planetary mass. See how much it's going up? I don't have to do medium light medium because all those armor ups and everything, he is getting like crazy. Now I'm just trying to parry and heavy, which is difficult because of that mighty charge. So that's what you see me doing here. And I'm taking a lot of damage because of those extra furies. So I got him and now, Still didn't take him all the way out. These are some beefy defenders, okay? But that's fine. Um, we can do that one more time. As you can see, ramping up very, very quickly. All right, so he is uh, quite good. You can play him in a different way. Um, you can always go all the way to your uh, special three if you want to and do it that way. Um, Reparrying works, as you saw there. Um, and he's down. Now, I lost a lot of health because I was taking a lot of block damage, a lot of um, those furies into my block. And they hurt, okay? So be aware of that. If you do go in here with like a five-star, you're going to take even more damage, okay? We're having problems with lag, uh, and you're going to see something happen later. That was very, very annoying. But in any case, um, I just wanted to show you 
uh, you know, a few people that can do this path. So Wiccan can do it. Um, Gallon can do it. And of course, Claire, she would be my number one uh, recommendation for this path. Okay. And I'm saving her for later. This is just more of a showcase that you can see others are also uh, good for this path. Um, another one that's good for this path uh, is Ronin. If you have a Ronin who is uh, duped, he can cheese this path. Do not run the recoil masteries because you will most likely um, basically take enough damage that you're going to take yourself out, okay? Uh, I'm trying to avoid that word because YouTube sometimes gets funny. Um, but in any case, uh, Ronin is a, is a good cheese option as well. Um, I didn't use him because, of course, I run the Recoil Masteries. Uh, we will see Claire in all her glory later. The uh, Warlock and the Ultron that you see there are for the boss. Um, the boss that we're going to choose is Deadpool X-Force. And I wanted to see, I already knew Warlock was going to be the best option for him. But I wanted to see how well Ultron did. So you guys will get to see how well he did uh, against that Deadpool X-Force. Now, fighting with Galen, as you see, I'm losing a lot of health. And it's taking a lot more time. So I definitely prefer Claire um, because she can heal herself back up. So she is definitely more sustainable. Uh, if I ended up using like Wiccan and Gallon, I'm probably gonna end up having to heal up quite often. Uh, Ronin, if you do the Ronin cheese, you're also set because you're not gonna be taking hits. They're gonna remain stun locked and you just basically stun lock them to death. Very, very quick and easy um, if you're not running, you know, recoil. All right, so we got through with those and I wanted to make sure I was going, you know, the right way, I didn't mess up or anything like that. And the path is uh, continued on that one with Nova, okay? Now, Nova is annoying. He can be very annoying to fight. But I had to fight him very, very often in Alliance Quest. So I know how to fight Nova. And guess who's good at fighting Nova? Claire. So finally, you get to see Claire in action. So if you are using Claire, one thing to note. Normally, her damage phase is this one right there hellfire okay and that's the phase you would normally want to stay in for damage until you needed to heal however for this path when you nullify these buffs and everything like that oh boy he's unblockable i always hated this um there we go we waited out that unblockable uh but on this path you're gaining fury. So you're gonna hit hard anyway, okay? So what you're gonna start seeing me do is stay in Curse of Blood. So if you are using her, I recommend staying in Curse of Blood for her. Cycle once through, if you're running the Recoil Masteries, um, you cycle once through and then you stay in Curse of Blood. If you're not running the Recoil Masteries, just stay in Curse of Blood. But as you can see, it's working, but I'm also, once again, losing health. And he was annoying me with that auto-blocking. I was getting so annoyed with, with him auto-blocking all of a sudden like that. All right, but down he goes. Not too difficult if you know how to fight Nova because she nullifies and all that good stuff. Um, she's great. She's great for uh, fighting Nova. All right, now, now we're going to come to this fight here. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of background 
of what's happening while I'm doing this. So now I'm fighting him. Uh, what I usually do is I try to keep him um, at a special one. I can evade the special two, uh, but I just rather evade his special one. It's just easier. Okay. So you see me um, cycling all the way through. I'm in Curse of Hellfire right now. Okay. And there we go. Now I'm in Curse of Blood. Look at her health. Bam. That's why you want to stay in Curse of Blood. All right. And I still did decent damage because of the um, Furies. All right. Now, what's happening while I'm fighting? I got a phone call. All morning, no calls. But now I get a phone call, and it's almost time for me to go live. So I had procrastinated, and then this happened. What you see here is my internet going down. It just went down. No internet, period. I actually finished this fight. You don't see it because suddenly my air server went out. Everything just got knocked out. So my guy was sitting there, see? Boom. All right. And then when I tried to log back in, I kept getting this because I had my internet kept going in and out. So finally we got back and he's back at full health. And I have half my health. That's how it goes. All right. So I'm just like, really? And it's just before I'm about to go live. And I'm now thinking, I hope my internet holds out because I need to finish this so that I can do the exploration, which I did do, but uh, the internet conked out on me again right when I went live. So we're good for the rest of this video, um, at least. And at this point, I have already explored all the rest of them. There was a couple of paths that were very annoying. Um, some of them were annoying mainly because of the uh, input situation that we have now where you swipe back and you don't move, things like that. Um, very, very annoying, all right? But in any case, as you can see here, we're staying in Curse of Blood and we're basically just doing what we had done before, okay? baiting out the special ones and firing off my special uh, two, wash, rinse, and repeat. So all the furies and all the damage that you take into your block and all that good stuff, she's gonna heal all that back up. So I definitely recommend her uh, if you have her, even the five star. Now, of course the six star gets a bonus, seven stars get a bonus, she's not in the seven star pool. But if you have the six star, definitely use your six star, but five star will work just fine. Uh, gallon, you're gonna take a lot more damage, but gallon works. Ronin, even as a five star, will work. Uh, just don't have the recall masteries, have him duped. The fight might take a little bit of time, even at rank one or two, because he won't be doing a lot of damage, but he can definitely cheese this path, okay? And I'm sure there's some other options. Um, I don't know if I would use Hercules for this path, to be honest with you. He might be able to do it, but there's just a better option. I think uh, Claire is just the better option. Um, but there will be paths where Hercules just tears up. Like in the last video, that path, Hercules could have done that path very easily all right now this guy here i hate fighting him i really hate fighting super scroll and with all these extra nodes it made this a nightmare and you can see the symbol in the bottom right hand corner so i am very nervous because the internet has already gone out once so i'm playing nervous i'm trying to you know watch the symbol watch the uh falter timer and i get clobbered <clears throat> but I'm not too worried because she can heal it up. And he went um, unblockable. I'm like, okay. So I got a lot of things going on here with Super Scroll. You got the falter, you got the unblockable, 
Um, he's nullify immune sometimes. All right. Um, now I went to look at that. Look at how much damage he did and it didn't hit me. That's why I don't like him. Now, if that had been unblockable, that'd have been it. Fight would have been over. Um, I really don't like fighting him. Uh, and you know, going unblockable and faltering makes things much worse. So as you can see, I switched back into blood and I just want him to fire that off. Good, good. I do not want him at his special uh, two. And look at that, just ripping me up. And now I got the falter to deal with. If you hit into his block, the falter will go away. But also, as you can see there, you can just do that quick hit and you're good. Look at he's in there, All, almost to the, my back was to the wall. And then bam, I'm back to full. And that's why I like Claire. She is rocking for this from the brink of death claire comes out okay so as long as we can you know keep things going like this we're good you know but we have a lot to worry about okay Woo! see how quick i did that very dangerous don't do that um especially with the situation we got with the inputs now that one didn't hurt me too much he didn't have a whole lot of furies up okay there we go. I nullified all that. Bam. Back up to full. Now I'm back in control of the fight. Uh, my back is not against the wall. And I'm a little bit more comfortable. And at this point, all I'm saying is, please, please, do not lose the internet. I do not want to fight this guy again. Like I had to do super, uh, um, like I had to do uh, Red Skull. Too many skulls. But anyway. So at this point, I want him to fire that off. He don't want to fire it off. Finally, he fires it off. Now I can hit him with my special two, which does do a good amount of damage because of those um, five furies that I got. All right, so here we go. Now I knew that falter, so I was waiting it, waiting for it. Okay, double um, re-parry so that I could get the falter off. Now we're back again. And we need to keep him far to the right. Get back, get back over there. And done. She finishes with a full bar of health. Love it. She is so useful, so useful. So as soon as I saw Arcane Zeal, I instantly said, I'm going to bring her. There's no question about it, okay? Um, but in any case, uh, I believe that was the final fight on the path. Yeah. And so now we already have the champs that we wanted. And again, you could also have brought in for that path. Doom. Doom would work. Uh, long shot. I don't have my long shot ranked up. But long shot tears that path up. Okay. So you've got some options uh, for doing this path, all right? So basically with this guy here, uh, the main thing is he's gonna be healing a lot, okay? Aggressive regeneration. Um, now this Infectious Wrath, you wanna use a tech champion if you have them. And you wanna have one that can do a heal block. Now, Ultron might be able to do it if you brought in a certain synergy. That special chaos inversion is of the devil. That's all I gotta say. I hate it, I hate it with a passion, okay? It catches me so many times. But anyway, so here I'm like, okay, we can degen, and I'm thinking if I get enough degens on him that it would stop the um, regen. But I want you to watch his health. Look at that. For this particular boss, I found um, Warlock to be the best, hands down. But with aggression regen, um, I think Void should do this one well. But really, anyone that has a heal block, a tech that has a heal block is gonna be ideal. So at this point, why I did that was because I already knew that he wasn't gonna work. L look at uh, Deadpool X-Force's health. 
And I'm like, oh no. And I'm like, wait, I'm still alive? Okay. So I was like, okay, let me do a little bit more. Just for fun. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Look at my healing. I like Ultron. He's just not good for this fight without that synergy. Because with the synergy, he would put a heal block on. And see, look, I just said, okay, let's just keep going until he gets me down. And so I'm just like, all right. <laughs> I just, I do what, and I'm still alive. I was like, wait, I just tanked two special twos. I thought that one was going to get me for sure, but it left me alive. And I was like, no, that's, that's enough. That's enough. Um, so as you can see, Deadpool is still there. If you're going to bring in Ultron, bring in the synergies where he can get a heal block. All right. So anyway, this one is very, very easy with uh, Warlock. You just want to get the infections up and fight like normal. That's it. Okay, so now that you have the infections up, I want you to see what happens. Look at the Furies that he's getting. He gets Furies every time your opponent tries to heal and can't. So Warlock is going to get Furies like crazy. Look at this. And he can't heal. Look at those crits, guys. 22k crits. Okay. And all I'm doing for these inverted controls, I'm just blocking. Just blocking. That's it. Now, this Warlock is uh, rank 4. I just recently took him to rank 4. Um, but as you can see, I'm just blocking. I'm not trying to deal with that inverted control mess. Now, you might be much better than I am. And you can actually invade, uh, evade properly with it inverted. I don't want to do that. It hurts my head, messes me up. And so that's what I do. Look at that crit. Okay. So very easy. Very, very easy with Warlock. Boom. And done. Okay. Even a five-star Warlock will do this. All right. So anyway, that is going to do it, guys. I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this helps you get through uh, your completion. All right. So um, enjoy. I had to use this because I actually had to restart once. Uh, and so I wasn't at full energy. Uh, but anyway, take care and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.